I'm Hugh Collingborn, Director of Technology with Sapphire Steel Software. In this video, I'll show you how to use Amethyst to navigate code in your Flash platform projects. When you want to find methods, constants, properties or variables in the current file, you can select them from the navigation bar. The class or classes are shown at the left and the members of that class on the right. Click an item in the list to go to its declaration in the source code. If you want to navigate around the entire project or solution, use the class view. Here you can look into the packages of your project to see the classes they contain. You can expand the branches to show a class's ancestors. The members of the class are shown in the pane down below. Double click them to navigate to the definitions in source code. Class view can be shown via the view menu. And you'll find another similar looking tool here called the object browser. The object browser is more like a comprehensive class view. It doesn't only show the current solution, it also lets you browse into libraries. For example, into the classes of the Flex SDK. And this time, the members are shown in one pane and any documentation is shown in another pane. Now there may be times when you have a solution that contains multiple projects, in which some projects create libraries which are used by some other project. Now here, for example, I have a library that contains my Object Plus class, which is used by this other adventure game project. Now normally a compiled library does not come with its source code, and so it would be added here as a simple reference by browsing to its SWC. And that would provide IntelliSense. But if I want to navigate into the library code, I can do so because the library project here is included in the same solution. So I can add a project reference like this. And having done that, I can now navigate from my application code into the library code that it uses. But what if I want to navigate into the Flex SDK? Amethyst comes with a tool to let me add the SDK quickly. Right-click the project node and select Add Library Project. Make sure Create Framework SDK Library is selected and click Finish. And the SDK is now added in the form of several projects with the appropriate references inserted into my application. You can distinguish project references that refer to source code projects, that is projects which are in the solution, from ordinary references by their color. Project references are shown in blue. With SDK references added, I can select Go to Definition to navigate from my application into the Flex SDK source code. But if there's a reference in my project for which I don't have the source code, for example, if the compiled object is one of Adobe's core Flash libraries whose source code is not supplied, then when I try to go to definition, Amethyst automatically constructs code definitions to show the names and arguments of the unreachable code. The natural partner to go to definition is find all references. This searches for all references to some identifier, such as a variable name, method, or constant, throughout your project. And you can navigate from one reference to another by clicking the items in the list. If you've added project references, you can even navigate across multiple dependent projects. Now here, for example, I'm searching for all references to the button class. And as you can see, I'm able to find and go to them throughout the Flex SDK. Amethyst supports other normal Visual Studio types of navigation. For example, you can move from breakpoint to breakpoint using the breakpoint window for when you're debugging. And when you're editing, you can navigate to and from your most recent positions in code using the navigate buttons. And you can add bookmarks. And you can use the bookmarks toolbar to go from one bookmark to the next. 
and you can search in documents or in files. You can even add bookmarks automatically to our matching text and then navigate amongst them. You can also navigate by comments. For example, any comment that begins with the text to do will be shown here in the task list. As I have a project reference to the Flex SDK, this even lets me browse the to do comments embedded in the source code of the Flex SDK itself. And if you want to add your own comment type, you can do that in Tools Options. Here I'm going to define a comment called Done. Click Add and OK. And now when I look at the task list, in addition to all those to-dos, I can see that my Done comment is shown. And note that by clicking Column Headers, I can sort the task list by description, file name, and so on. For more information on the Amethyst IDE, go to the Sapphire Steel software website at www.sapphiresteel.com.